All right, kitties, Kavita Shanae here for Sound and Dirty. Uh, I've been giving you my football picks since week six. We're into week 10. My record's 10 and two. I'm about to give you my week 10 predictions, so hold on tight. No pun intended. Let's start off with Tennessee at Carolina with the Panthers, favored by three. Now I got two words for you. Cam Newton. I also got two numbers for you. Two and six. Now that's all that matters, according to Cam, not his performance as an individual. Now, you know what? I think that's a very mature attitude for a rookie, and I'm kind of digging it. Now, the Panthers, they'll be coming off a of bye week, and although they're 2-6, and six, as we mentioned, five of those losses were by a touchdown or less. The Panthers are 5-1 and one against the spread in their last six home games. As for the Titans, well, they've struggled scoring points without their boy, Kenny Britt. And you know what? Since his season-ending knee surgery, Tennessee has averaged roughly 19 points per game, which is three less than the league average. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'm thinking Cam may get his third W of the season. And you know what? Panthers cover the spread. Next up is Detroit at Chicago, with Chicago favored by three. Now, the Lions started off the season taking teams down one by one. We were all chanting Megatron, but by week six, we realized that the Lions were, in fact, human, just like the rest of the league. Now, the Bears, coming off a short week, had a great game in Philly on Monday night. Jay Cutler, he was impressive. He was confident. He was accurate. What did I tell you guys in week six about a guy who just got his fiance back? Now, with that being said, I'm not sure if he'll be able to sustain that performance on this Sunday. The underdog in the NFC North showdown has covered the spread 17 out of the last 25 meetings between the two. Now, I'm thinking the Bears are overvalued coming to this game because they beat what is perceived to be one of the best teams in the league in front of a national audience in a primetime game, thus leading me to take the underdog. Detroit Lions cover the spread. Last up is Giants at San Francisco with the Niners favored by three. Now, Eli Manning and the Giants are having a great season thus far, but you know what? On the other hand, so are the 49ers under Coach Harbaugh. The Giants have won six of their last seven games, and the Niners have won six in a row. As you can see, this game is a tough one to bet on, which is clearly the reason why I decided to tackle this matchup. The 49ers have one of the best defenses in the league and are 8-0-1 against the spread in their last nine games overall. Now, the Giants are 25th in the league against a run, allowing over 127 yards per game, which doesn't bode well against a run-happy 49ers team who are one of the best ground-and-pound teams in the league. And because the Giants are coming off an emotional win against the New England Patriots and traveling to the West Coast, I reckon they have a chance to win, but not by much. Therefore, I'm taking the Niners to cover the spread. There you have it, my top three games for Week 10. Now, I hope you enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed giving them to you. And if you want picks on all your favorite games, you can visit PainInsider.com. Dude's an expert. He's been doing it for over 20 years. As for me, I gotta go. Bye.